Yeah, so we're going to add the patient to the system by scanning the driver's license. The barcode on the back has the first name, last name, birth date, address, and driver's license number. And if it's expired, it'll let the bartender know, so uh, they, they stop the order there. Um, here it's, it's saying the, the driver's license number is a duplicate. There's already a patient in the system with that information. Um, so I'm going to add a 1 to it so it treats it as a new number. And then we make a copy of it. Uh, so I'm going to line up the driver's license here in our document scanner. It grips it a little bit to, to hold it in. And we hit scan government ID here on the computer. Uh, it takes a second to warm up and then it feeds the driver's license through the machine and spits it back out through the front. Now that it's scanned, we've got a front and back copy here. I put it in the wrong way so we can rotate it there easily. Um, and then we also have the option to scan the medical card um, or attach any other documents to the patient, patient profile that are necessary. Uh, we can also add any notes to the patient profile or any alerts. Uh, if the patient left their driver's license behind, you can notate that there and the next time they come in, it'll pop up. To log into OptiLeaf, uh, employees are given badges here. It has the company logo at the top, the employee name, and a barcode that they can use to log into this system. With the barcode scanner, you scan the barcode and you're immediately taken into the point of sale. Here, I'm going to select a customer and add them to the order. So I'm going to type in Doe and choose John Doe from the list of results there. Uh, here, at a glance, I can see customer information, uh, any notes, uh, the information that was previously entered when the patient was added. And I'm also able to view recent purchases. So here, I can see that John Doe really likes the Blue Dream, likes the Blue Raspberry Gummies, um, and it gets an employee discount. Um, so we can close that and add items to the order at this point. Um, this is showing all the products. So now we can add Blue Dream to the order. Um, it's going to ask us to get the scale weight. It'll, it can automatically grab the weight that is on the scale. So put the product on the scale. Up here it now registers 9.55 grams. And we'll add that to the order. And we don't need to print the label, so we'll skip that for now. You can also choose to enter the weight here. Um, we can easily enter a gram, a quarter, an ounce, or manually enter a weight. Or you can enter it by price. If the patient says, hey, I have $25 to spend today, how much can I purchase? Type in 25 and let the system calculate it for you. $25 will get you one gram uh, with tax included. Um, you also have the option to overwrite the price. Um, here we're charging $75 for 7.8 grams. And we can say the reason they are an employee and the new price of that is going to be $50. Automatically updates it on the point of sale. We can easily remove items from the order. Once you're ready to check out, we see the total here, $25, $1.85 of that is tax. Once we hit the cash button, uh, you can hit exact change or you can say the patient gave me oops, $30. The point of sale, that's, that's an error message there. Uh, the point of sale will tell you how much change to return to the customer. The receipt will print and the cash drawer automatically opens up.